What up, it's Will Maker. Today I'm gonna to show you a trick on how to turn any saturator into a multiband saturator. So let's check it out. Now this technique works on vocals, instruments, or whatever you need help with cutting through the mix. Now I like to use it on 808s, so that way I can leave my sub alone, and that way I can get the higher frequencies to cut through the mix. So the first thing that you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to grab a saturator and you're gonna to wanna to put it on a send. Now, if you want to know what my favorite saturation plugins are, you can check them out by clicking on the link. So once you've got your saturator on a send, add an EQ directly after. Don't put it on first or you won't be EQing the saturation, which is what you're going to want to do. So what I've done is I've taken a plain 808. Now, what I'm going to do on my send, I have my saturation and I got my EQ. I'm going to go ahead and turn up the send which my saturation is right here. And now if I play the saturation alone, what we're gonna notice is we're gonna notice the entire sound thickens up. So in this example, more so what I'm doing is I want the 808 to cut through the mix. I'm not necessarily in this example worried about the low end and how big I can get the low end. Okay, and remember this is the signal before. So I'm going to roll off about 80 hertz, and this is what I'm going to be left with. So before, and after. So you can use this technique on vocals, you can use it on whatever that you want to. In this case, I, I really just like to use it on 808s to cut through the mix. So what I'm also gonna show is an example with the beat. So this is with the same effects that I just had right now. And this is the beat playing with the current 808 with no saturation. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the saturation. And now we'll listen and we'll see how much more that the 808 is cutting through the mix. So this is a great technique to help you control the amount of saturation that you want to go ahead and add to a source. So if you want to add it on a vocal, if you want to add it on a kick, you can just add it on a send. You can go ahead and just EQ it to your own taste and the technique works great. So I hope that you find this technique helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop a comment. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Other than that, peace out.